Hi, this week we're making a starfish and a sea urchin pinch pot. It can also be used as a boat holder. You can see the little holes that will let the light shine through. So I'll be running through that tutorial for you today. For the sea urchin pinch pot, you're gonna start with a ball of clay. Go ahead and roll that into a ball. I had mine already rolled out, so if you need to push pause, and join me when yours is ready. You just can come back and join the video when your clay is ready. So you just put your thumbs in the middle here and you start twisting and pinching and you'll want the sides around a quarter inch thick. About that thick. And I, I like to kind of spin on the tabletop use your newspaper so it doesn't stick to your countertop if you'd like. So just spinning, creating that flat surface at the bottom. And I'm pinching towards the middle just to bring that in slightly at the top. And just use your fingertips to feel how thick the clay is as you're pinching. And the surface we're gonna add this texture so it doesn't need to be completely smooth. You just want a general symmetric shape here. I do like to keep that personal touch of keeping it handmade so it does not have to be a perfect circle. So, put just a little symmetry so it sits flat on the table. And there's a good start there. So now you can see here, I've divided this into eight sections and I added a little coil along the sides here. And I'll show you how to do that. So you're gonna go ahead and roll out eight coils. The same length. So I'm going to cut this in half with my popsicle stick and that will definitely be enough to run along the side of the pot. So I'm going to line these up and make eight. And I went ahead and I pre-made a pot already so we can this one available. So you can see here, I've already worked through most of the sections on this pot, leaving this one open so I can show you how to add those details. I'll set this here. So for the coil, after you roll eight of the same size, we'll add, we'll score and add those to the pot. And I'm going to show you each step and then we'll skip ahead a little bit just to the next section on that pot that's pre-made. Four. And I just need three more here.
So this is the eighth coil here. Cutting this in half. There we go. So then you'll take your pot, and I like to divide this into eight sections, similar to how you would cut a pie or a pizza so that you have pretty even. I'm flipping that over, it's just a little bit easier. So I'm going to score using my wooden skewer. From the top of the pot to the bottom, since I have it flipped over. And then I'll move directly across to the other side. So we have it in halves. Now we'll go into eighths. Coming directly across, now we have it in quarters. And now eighths. Okay, so when you apply, you can use that little slip that you have pre-made in your bowl of water, or you can just put a little bit of water here. And I like to dip the coil in water as well, laying a, that across the area that I scored. And then just pressing in with my fingertip. Taking away the extra clay. Just smoothing out the lines on the side. There we go. One coil attached, and you'll continue that with all eight. So here, I have a tiny piece of clay that I rolled into a ball, so I'm going to show you that little process as well. And then I kind of flatten it into a little circle creating that surface that you would see on a sea urchin. And then to attach to the coil, you can see I did attached in different areas. Um, each coil is just a little bit different just to add a little variety. So you'll just score where you attach. You can take that little piece of clay, dip it in water, and then kind of twist on there real good. And I use the flat end of my wooden skewer to press and attach. There we go. So you'll go around and I attached one to each coil. It depends on how many you want. You could add more if you like. And then for the surface around the whole pot, I use the flat end of the wooden skewer and I'm just pressing in to the clay. I have my hand on the inside kind of bracing that shape as well. Continuing to round it out. That one I dropped a little bit too low and kind of lost that hole that I had created with the straw. So. Just to show you how you would do that, you'll use your straw, and I can twist here and recreate that, just like that. 
So I went ahead and I added two holes with the straws in each section. And the way that you do that is you just kind of brace from the inside, give that a little bit of a twist. And usually there, you'll have that clay kind of fill up on the straw on the other side. So I pull that out and there we go. If you notice that you have, as you're working, you can go ahead and clear that area out with the straw again later if you have a little bit of surface area that has that just needs to be smoothed you can just run that straw through again so I'll be continuing with the surface texture here all along the smooth areas of the clay just creating kind of a uniform texture around the piece. There we go. And this is a little bit soft still so I'm just running my finger on the inside I don't know if you can see that kind of just stretching that clay and rounding it out a little bit giving it like a little belly in the pot doing that from the inside and if your clay is too dry you may find that you have a little bit of cracking from adding this. So I would just see how far you can go and without adding too many cracks to the surface. All right, so we're getting close to finished here on this piece. And I am gonna go ahead and add just a little more texture along these smooth parts on the coils because just really like having lots of texture on my pieces. If you all have any questions about any of the projects, feel free to post them on our classroom page. So I've, now I'm going to hold this, I might even turn it upside down to work on the bottom parts of each coil here. It's a great time to add your name or your initials to the bottom of your piece as well. Do that with your wooden skewer. There we go. Sea urchin pinch pot. And this will be great for a votive later. The light will shine through in these little areas as well. Thanks for joining me.